Welcome to the Potomac uh, Tribal Heritage Center, or what will soon be the Potomac Tribal Heritage Center. Um, this is called Little Falls. Just on the other side of that ridge there is the Rappahannock River. And the Potomac Tribe covered all this territory from the Rappahannock River um, all the way up to the Potomac River, stopping at a quiet creek. Um, the Potomac Tribe is one of 11 um, Virginia tribes that are federally recognized. And the Potomac Tribe actually only got state recognition in 2010 because of anthropological research um, by the College of William and Mary. So the Potomacs, or the Potawatomics as it's spelled, but it's pronounced Potomac. Um, here, you can see that right here, how, how it's spelled right there. Yes, it says no trespassing, but um, I'll, I'll leave it there. Okay. Um, I'm not on the other side of the fence, so it's okay. Um, so they were part of the Powhatan or the Powhatan uh, Confederacy. Okay, so remember that Chief Powhatan was um, the chief of the Powhatans and Pocahontas's father. Well, Pocahontas's mother was actually a Potomac Indian, which I just found out today, which is very exciting. Um, Captain John Smith came and met with the Potomac's Indians around this area. And um, this was also the area where a Chief Powhatan was given a crown by the English and it was placed on his head as the king of the Powhatan Confederacy. Um, like I said, this area is called Little Falls um, because the Rappahannock River is right there and it's still very navigable. It's still pretty flat, but it's getting a little bumpy. So we're gonna see the greater falls in a little bit. Um, what they, this area has been granted to the Potomac Indian tribe and they are hard at work trying to recover their language and they're teaching people how to speak the language. There's about, how many did I say? 2,800 members today. Um, and 80% of them live within 10 miles of this area, which is amazing to me. Uh, the tribe was pretty much wiped out in 1666 by the English in what was called the Massacre. Um, and the descendants of the Potomac Indians now are the descendants of the women who survived that time period. Uh, the Potomac Indians are going to turn this big fancy house, you can see here, into a museum. And then on this other area, they're going to have like an open air museum, uh, kind of like that they have down at the village in Jamestown. So it'll be right here. And um, so there you go, the Potomac Indians, right.